Hi, my name is Sam and I'm from Coding Kids. And today we're gonna to create a simple maths quiz game in Scratch Junior. So we have our character who asks a maths question and then the player of the game taps the answer that they think is the correct one. And then our code will tell them whether they got it correct or not. All right, let's get started. So once you've opened up Scratch, is I'm gonna delete the default character and add in my own character, which is gonna be a pig. So the first thing we're gonna do with the pig is we're gonna make it ask the question, what is two plus three? And we want our pig to do that when we click the green flag up the top. So we're gonna go into the yellow blocks and we're gonna drag the first block down here, the one with the green flag. And that means whatever code we put after this green flag will run when we click the green flag up the top. So we want our pig to say something, so we're gonna to go to our purple blocks and we're gonna get this first block here, the speech bubble. And we're just going to tap on the high and we're going to write in the question. And then if we press the green flag, our pig will ask what is two plus three. So the next step is to create our answers. To do that, we're going to add a new character and we're going to create our own character. We're going to draw our own numbers. So we're just going to go into the paintbrush. Make sure that we've got the thickest line width selected and that we're drawing freeform and then we're just going to draw in our number. And then when I'm done, I'm going to press this tick. Now to make the number smaller, we're going to go to the purple block and we're going to drag down this block here, the one that has the smallest human figure highlighted. And then we're just going to click it a couple of times and that shrinks our number. And then when we're done with that, we're just going to drag it up to the top and it will disappear. Now what we want is we want the player of our game to tap on the correct answer. Now two plus three does not equal seven. So if player taps on seven, we want to tell them that that's the wrong answer. That's incorrect. To start our code, we need to go back to our yellow blocks and we're going to click this second block here. We're going to drag that one down here and that is start on tap. Once we've got that block, we're going to go to our purple blocks and we're going to grab the speech bubble again and we're going to write that that is an incorrect answer. And then if you test your code and tap on the seven, all right. So now we're gonna do the correct answer. Now the correct answer is the same process as what we did for seven. So we're gonna add a new character and we're going to draw in the right number. We're gonna make it a bit smaller by going to the purple blocks and choosing the shrink block and clicking it a couple of times. Then we're going to go back to yellow blocks and we're going to grab the start on tap block and we're going to add a speech bubble after that. And inside the speech bubble we're going to tell our user that they've tapped on the right answer, that that's correct. And we're just going to add one more number, another incorrect answer, make it a bit smaller and do the same process that we did for the seven and the five. So grab the start on tap block in yellow, and then we're gonna to go to purple, the speech bubble, and then inside the speech bubble, we're gonna write that is incorrect. So once that's finished, our simple quiz game is ready to go. So if you press the green flag, my pig asks the question, and then if I tap on a number, it'll tell me if that's correct, or incorrect. For a final finishing touch, you can add a backdrop. And for the last step, you might want to rename your project so that it's easy to remember. And there you go. My name's Sam, I'm from Coding Kids, and thank you for watching.